Sonic Relief, if you go on the website and you check their points as a non-profit, they raised over $150 million last year. And I'm here to tell you something, brothers and sisters. They are generous people in our community. Not everyone who can give tonight is here. But if you pick up the phone and call them, if you reach out to other people and you share with them the vision, some people will donate because they're friends with you. Some people will give money because of you. I know people right now, because they're my friends, they will donate to certain projects, right? And there are people that, because I'm friends with them, I will help them because they're my friends. And that's what I'd like to tell all of you today from the NOI. When I saw Minister Farrakhan last night with Jay-Z, and they gave Minister Farrakhan that shout out in Chicago with 60 to 80,000 young people in that arena, and those young people went crazy. Because the minister touches the heart of so many brothers and sisters. But one of the things that will be helpful to the minister is brothers and sisters who understand the importance of business relations with the entertainment community. It's okay to take a picture with the minister, but you need to leave with a check for five or 20, you know, five, 10, 15 minutes. Oh, yeah. And trust me, a lot of the entertainers have that kind of money right now. You gotta tap in to the friends of Farrakhan mm -hmm. and share the vision with them <clears throat> of Minister Farrakhan for the development of our people as a, as a people as a whole. And sometimes I, I, I tell brothers, you know, when brothers and sisters tell me, I'm a follower of the honor of Elijah Muhammad, I, I can ask them one question. Where's the farms at? Where's mm. the airplane? Where's the supermarkets? Right. Where's the banks? I'm not going to debate with you too much theology. Because right, right. we can stay up all night debating theology. That's right. You can believe if you want to that Mickey Mouse is God and Donald Duck is his partner. I'm not interested <laughs> in that no more. You know why? Because at the end of the day, we need food, clothing, and shelter and protection for our people. That's, That's right. right. And at the end of the day, our knowledge of God is limited even when we think we comprehend the infinite one. You can live for 100 years and still not understand God. You know, the Quran says something so beautiful. Allah says, you have only been given a knowledge, but a little. So we have to learn to work together for the benefit of our people. This is a great piece of land you have. It's in a wonderful location that has unlimited potential of a bright future. Right. I would encourage all of you to sit down with Minister Hugh and say, okay, how do we make this work? Do we need to split the project and have half as an investment and we build condominiums? And guess what? You move there. Why can't 20 of us say, you know what? I'm gonna take my retirement money, I'm gonna build a condom and put it together. You know, every other group does that for us. Do you know that other people put their nickels and dimes together to buy land and property and develop multiple businesses and then split it amongst themselves? Do you know I can take you to New York right now, the Bengali community who just came to America. They got over 100 stores, over 400 uh, houses that they own and they live on one strip, Liberty Avenue. They just came yesterday. Now, they didn't get that just overnight. Some of them live in the basement of their stores in order to make the sacrifice for ownership. But now they have it. They own most of the Dunkin' Donuts throughout the Tri-State area. You walk in Dunkin' Donuts, including the one at the World Trade Center. You walk in, Sister Gabri Jackson, Jaff, Salaam Alaikum. When I give salam, I don't like to give salams a lot anymore because they always give me free donuts. <laughs> I just say salam alaikum. They say, oh, what are you? What's up? I said, of course, I'm Muslim. They said, oh, here's one extra. So now I just go on and say, can I have a cup of coffee? <laughs> My kids say, daddy, you always get free donuts everywhere we go. Let's go to Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> they say, please go to the driveway. No matter who's there, I get a free donut now and then. So what I'm trying to say, brothers and sisters, respectfully, is let's come together and use our human capital to make this a reality. Yes, so I'm not gonna come no more on